Hey, this is Terratoots with a quick introduction to the Strata and Outcrop shader in Terragen 4. The Strata shader helps give your terrain the appearance of layers of exposed rock. It's important to note that this shader only does displacement. Coloring the layers is a separate job. To start out, let's come into this scene where I've created a basic slope using the simple shape shader. Applying the Strata shader is straightforward. Come into Shaders, Add Layer, Displacement Shader, Strata and Outcrops Shader version 2. Immediately, we can start to see layers form on the surface of the slope. Let's dig into what's happening here and what all these settings do. Given a point on a slope, the strata shader raises some of the terrain below that point to the same altitude, like so. This is what Terrigen calls a hard layer. The height of the raised section is called the hard layer depth. The offset between the top of the raised section and the ground is the hard layer altitude. Additional hard layers are created above and below the original layer at a distance determined by the hard layer spacing. The angle here at the face of the hard layer is called the hard layer steepness and sets how quickly the terrain rises to the new altitude. The angle here above the hard layer is controlled by the plateau buildup setting. A high plateau buildup will cause the terrain to slant all the way up to the start of the next hard layer. Adding additional octaves with num octaves causes smaller hard layers to be added between and overlapping the originals at a closer spacing. Strata tilt angle controls the overall vertical angle of the strata layers. While if we come over to a top view, strata tilt direction controls the heading angle at which the strata is tilted. Together, the two settings allow strata to be created at any angle desired. The strata shader can be used to create many interesting effects when masked and combined with other displacement shaders. Some unusual patterns can be created by using multiple strata layers at different angles. And one of my favorite effects is applying the strata shader to an overhang, which creates some cool shapes. So there's the strata shader for your next canyon, cliff, rock wall, overhang, or wherever else you can find a use for it. 